shot at BC. Oh, BC and Pee Wee, and that's Gina and Germ. Oh, okay. Uh, Pee Wee is actually, is he ranked in Austin still? Uh, I don't think he attended enough PR events this this past season to uh, to get on the PR. Okay. Um, but yes, he's normally ranked in the, in the top ten. So he's he's not ranked, but everybody like knows he's yeah. good. He's like he was I, three, I think, in the previous season. Yeah, I, I would say he's probably third best in Austin right now. Uh, hockey, what was it now? Hockey. Uh, hockey one, Sassy two. Sassy two. Uh, we've got Mike Effect at three, who had some very strong wins against uh, some out of city players. Mm. Uh, okay. I think he was actually one of the only people to beat Lucy coming in. Wow. Yeah, he's he was one of the only people in Austin. Awesome Domain's Ness? Yeah. Okay. Is it a solo Ness? Yeah, solo Ness. It's okay. really good. All right. Ness has been a character that's kind of on a decline lately. You know, everybody thought at the beginning of the game he's really good. Like, he's still a pretty good character, but, like, more, like he's a sleeper. Yeah. I mean, he, he's got great potential. Yeah, characters like like some other characters, just Rose, like, Marth, like, just, like, just, like, a lot better, like, Marth versus Ness is one of the worst matchups in the game, honestly, because, like, you, you just outspace Ness forever, and then right. you counter him off stage, like, dies at 20. It's, it's just what you gotta do. But, uh, BC, uh, it, Pee Wee plays Mennonite, right? Yes. All right, I'm not seeing them actually on the bracket, so I'm trying to see. Uh, I think it's the, is it not in winners? Uh, no, the winners comes down to. Oh, no, no, no I see them. Germ is in, yeah, okay. okay. And, uh, Germ, he's. PR'd in Texas, I believe. Uh, number seven, I think. I, I think. This is off the top of my head. I think Germ's ten. No, no, no. Jason's ten. I think Maybe Germ's like either eight or nine. I think hockey might be seven. Hockey uh, is seven. Yeah, okay. So Germ's either eight or nine. Okay. And uh, Gene S uh, doesn't really play singles that much, uh, but he's a very good doubles player. And Germ and Gene S is a very good doubles team. Probably going to go Robin. Robin Cloud and BC's a good villager main. He's ranked in Houston. Uh, kind of a sleeper, I would say. He doesn't really attend that much, but he goes to, like the very big events yeah. and he does well. Like at uh, Battlegrounds Three, I don't know if you watched any of that. He almost beat Fatality. Wow. Yeah. Uh, F Fatality beat him last. It was like last dog, last hit. Just got a random dare off stage and able to clutch out the set. And it's really, it's really sad to think about because like if BC <laughs> just this, if BC beat Fatality there. Fatality couldn't have won the tournament. It's just like, right. Oh well. But uh, ooh, Pee Wee actually going Lucario. I haven't seen this in a while. Uh, last time I seen Pee Wee go Lucario was long, months, long months time. ago. Months ago. I played it in bracket once. This was at a shockwave. It was a very long shock, long time. It was I'll, to tell you how long it was. But Trailer was still maining me sword fighter. Oh wow. Yeah. And <laughs> Esam was there. I played Pee Wee. I played as Lucario. I two stocked. That's him. like one point four, right? One point three. I don't remember what, what update that was. It was, I think it was after the Diddy nerf. So okay. like 1.6, probably something around. I played Pee Wee's Lucario. Uh, I, I mean, Sheik at the time. I two stocked in game one. Game two, he's he two stocked me. No, no, he didn't go Lucario until game two, and then he two stocked me. There, and I was like, Sheik right, versus well, Lucario was busted. Going into game <laughs> one, Germ G Ness versus BC Pee Wee. Right. Right. Lucario, yeah, villager, Lucario combo coming out. Lucario, Lucario very scary in doubles. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the Anubis strategy. Oh yes. Yeah, and, like it, it's just so scary. I, I was playing uh, friendlies with Genus and Trello. Trello picked up Lucario again recently. It, it's just so gross. Like he would do this thing. He would kill himself twice, so he get max aura, and then he just kill me at 30. With Lucario, and I'm like, how do you beat this? <laughs> it's really gross. Lucario, very an underrated character. Yeah, very good. Just, just like, if you can kill somebody, it doesn't matter if they're weight class at 30, 40. I, you can't be bad in my eyes. Robin getting two fully charged blasts right there. Putting some damage on Villager and Lucario, but... but uh, Lucario down a stock, but that's, that's kind of actually what he wants, because right. that's, how, that's how the new strategy works. Lucario takes more damage, like... Once he gets down to his last stock here, he, he's, he's going to be max on him. Kills everywhere. It's like, he would probably not even too worried about taking this percent right now. The main thing about this team is that BC is the one that wants to survive. Yeah. <laughs> and he would just counter. <laughs> but, uh, Germ's actually playing a very good keep away game. He has barely taken any game. Only a 33% right now. All that's right, gonna, Lucario on that last stock, going to get the smash aura here yeah, soon. That's that's the boost, and he has the juice. Yep. It's 
gonna be very scary, like <laughs> people just rolling around. And I'm pretty sure Germ knows how scary this is. The villager back there, not gonna kill just yet. But uh, BC, he's, he's been at 101 for a very long time. He hasn't taken damage for quite a while, actually. So BC just doing what he needs to do in this match. He needs a stock tank. And Robin sitting at a very, very low 39% yeah. right now. Yeah, and uh, GNS' stock hasn't even been taken off yet. And like, this, this is a very good strategy that BC and uh, Pee Wee are doing, but like, they're, they're not able to get the kills, which is what they really need. Right. Like, I, I Germ's still at 39%, 39% for like, they took that, that well, right there. That charge focus blast yeah. isn't gonna kill. Yeah, he was at 39% for like two, two, three minutes, and that, uh, Dash is not gonna kill BC play yet. So, he definitely needs that up. I oh, was <laughs> is gonna kill. <laughs> That's, Oh, I mean, he was at 130%. He was at one, yeah. uh, but I've never seen Lucario up there kill before. That's, that's literally the first time I've seen it. I, I, I don't doubt it. But, but it's, oh, and that, and that bear is going to kill. That bear, that bear able to kill 30%. Yeah. Of oh, and, and there's not a, Oh, yeah. wow. It, he's max <laughs> lower. He's, he's going to make it back for yeah. anywhere. You don't, have, you don't have to worry about that. I just didn't know where he was in that uh, in that box. Yeah, but he must have been pretty low. BC losing his first stock was actually pretty bad for the yeah. blue team right now. But uh, I believe Lucario's still at max aura, so not too bad right now. I'm just surprised at the lack of pocketing of those beams coming out of Robin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, like, why, why is he throwing aura spheres after I remembered the damage output was nerfed if you pocket your own team? Right. And I thought aura spheres were going to take the top. And wow, it looked like. The blue team was down a, a lot, but now yeah, that, that, that's, that's just the power of the strategy. It's, it's not broken, I would say. It's definitely not unbeatable, but it's just it's just really strong. It, it, it's really strong on paper, and like if you have somebody that knows how to play hard, it's just really good. Once again, no pocket coming out from the uh, from the villager, which it puts an easy percentage on this. But we'll see Lucario at dangerous percents now, even with. Even with all that benefit, he's yeah. he's still at 140. Yeah, I mean, if one hit's gonna kill him. If he gets him, a good hit on that Robin, he could kill this early. But we'll just have to see. Yeah, probably with like a smash deck, but uh, that's gonna that's be stock. gonna take it. And yeah, he's forced to stock. So this is a lot more doable now because Lucario has doesn't have any power out at all right now. He's gonna have to get that rage. Yeah, and his teammates almost did. So if look, if Pee could have held that stock for just a little bit longer, they definitely been. Very good for the blue team. Yeah. Well, up throw. There Ooh. it is. The, to wow. the air dodge read to the back air. Was, I've never seen that before. Oh, it's very pretty, but that yeah. sword gonna definitely do it. So, so we got a one v one, a weak Lucario versus a Robin at 79. It's pretty much even. Yeah, this is a very scary too, because like it just it's just really lame. You, yeah. The way you fight Lucario, like you're you have to you have to hit him because you're right. behind. But like if you hit him, you're just giving him more power. It's like I, it's it, it's like Robin having some of the best kill potential and kill confirms in the yeah, game. Yeah, so it's not that hard for like say Robin. It's been, and you can keep out Lucario and Lucario just have a very good time getting right. Hit. But like for other characters, like I may mark like yeah, I have to space around the sword, but if I miss space like one time, that could cost me dearly. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, gonna eat that get, percent there. Get, get the juice. Damn it. Oh, and Ooh, uh, he doesn't get the clean back. Oh, don't, oh. don't. Oh, ho, 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 ho. almost. Oh, oh buddy, SDs. That's, a, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Very, very winnable from BC and Pee Wee, but that that yeah. stock loss on the uh, villager definitely, I think, cost him. Mm -hmm. the villager lost that stock a little too early. And that that SD at the end. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> But uh, that, that was a very close game. It, it looked like, when if you look like at the stock count at the beginning, it's like, oh, Red Team's got a two-stock lead. But, like, just Lucario, That's, it's... That, it's that mechanic. And BC was, at the, at the beginning, a very good job stock taking. He was at 101 for, like, two two minutes, I'd say. And they're going to go to Omega Wily's Castle now. All right, going to post the bracket right here for you guys real quick. Three, All right. One, game two go. coming in. Like the weird thing about this strategy, it almost feels 
like it, it just looks like Pee Wee's getting hit on purpose at the beginning here. Oh, look at that. We got the stream on a projector up there, which oh, they need to fix because <laughs> it's backwards. But, uh, yeah, it, Pee Wee's basically like you can see right now, he, it just looks like he's getting hit on purpose. Like, because he knows, like, yeah, he, they're just going to give me power. He wants that rage. He wants that rage. He wants that aura. Like, look, he literally just stood there and F-smashed the other <laughs> way. And, like, what are you doing? Like, he doesn't even care. Like, he's got about half power right now. Mitch activated his trap card. <laughs> it's Mirror Force. DC does a very good job just like sitting back, just being very annoying, not taking any damage. Yeah, and Robin once again sitting there at a very low percent. One minute into the match, only at 30. But the cloud gonna lose that stock pretty early as well, so. That's actually really good because like yeah. once Pee Wee loses this stock, he'll be a max aura. And red team's down a stock. That's like it, it, it would say four stocks to five, but the red team's down. Well, I, I can guarantee you that. Alright, here we go. They're Mario. down now. <laughs> Yep. But one thing about the strategy, uh, your aura actually doesn't activate. Uh, Trello told me it doesn't activate for seven seconds. So what he would do is he just stay on the platform because I waste okay. about five seconds. And then you get your invincibility. When you come down, you'll already be at max aura. So. Yeah, but uh, BC got to look out here. He's he's sitting at a kill percent. Oh, I, I wouldn't work too much. BC's he, he's not going to be getting hit for a while. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> they just... Oh, and that is going to take it. So, blue team definitely having the strong advantage here. Yeah. But, oh, he's living. Opposite side. It's very, it's very it's kind of hard to conjure. It's just like, I, I know what they're doing. And, like, it, it's just so good. Like... Red Team just really, what you really want to do in this scenario is you want to sandwich uh, BC. That's yeah, like, they need to be pressuring that, uh, cause that like, villager hard. Yeah, the way that uh, he gets the boost is being down in stocks. So if you, you have to kill the teammate. Right. Because, like, you know, it, uh, slowly Lucario will lose his power. And that's what I think the approaching, approaching Lucario right now is just dangerous. Yeah, especially because you kill. Like, look how much shield yeah. damage that did. Like, that, that's going to kill It'll Man. probably kill Genus too. But Robin's still on her first stock. Ooh, and now, now this is a really good position. Yeah, they got them both on their last stock. And look, he, he back aired him at 70%, couldn't even kill him. <laughs> Only reason he killed that down smash, I say, is because Robin was at like 140. Then it was charged halfway. All right, so. Actually slowing down here a little bit. Both teams looking like they're trying to figure out how they're going to take the stocks. Yeah, really just feeling each other out in yeah. right now. It's really going to be hard for the team because, like, BC still needs to be... BC has to go in a little bit more because you can't rely too much on the Lucario strategy because, you know, last right. stop. But, uh... BC doing a good job of saving him from the sword there. Yeah, and PB slowly gaining more percent, which is what he wants. But like at this oh, point, that's that was a really, it. really good snipe. So, it's a little more doable right now. But uh, PB can definitely die. Like uh, 11 up air will definitely kill right now. And he's he's going to have a hard time landing against Claw. I think even a uh, that fully charged might do it. Not no, okay. Not enough next, ne next one is. Assuming it's not uh, sour. Oh, but that's the. Gonna be uh, it. Stage spike from the FB again and nah, definitely kill. This is going to be very hard, but BC could definitely do this. He's a very good doubles player, and he's just very annoying because he, he knows how to play a very, you know, campy passive villager. Yeah. And, like, if you don't know how to fight against that, it can be very hard. But German GNS, very seasoned players. And, and that's, that's it. Gonna be it. Yeah. All right. So German GNS going to take that 2-0 to zero yeah, but with the second game looking a little more. A little more clean than the first. So, but PC, uh, BC, I was going to say PC, BC and Pee Wee, definitely heavy hitters. I can see them. I, I wouldn't doubt if they made top eight, honestly. But, uh, yeah, the Luc Lucario Anubis strategy is so strong, so yeah. scary. All right. Hmm. I didn't even know Midwest Mayhem's Zogolos today. 
So let's take a look at the bracket real quick, see what we got coming up, see uh, what we missed. So winner of semis is going to be Tui and Lucy versus Jeremy.